and get started with some questions. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I would just like to say uh, thankful to ownership, thankful for uh, Coach Allen to have me on the team. Man, I'm super excited to see what we can get done this season. Um, and I'm extremely grateful for Coach Nelson, you know, uh, great D-line coach, amazing defensive mind, and uh, very excited to see what we can get done. Contavious, can you center yourself a little bit on the screen, if you don't mind? Yeah. That's perfect. That's All right, uh, NewOrleansSaints.com. We're going to go ahead and get started with John DeShade. How you doing, Contavious? Doing great. How you doing? Uh, doing well. Um, welcome to New Orleans. Uh, first, how much of a this, how much of a role did um, did Ryan being in New Orleans play in you wanting to be with the Saints? And also, what do you know about the Saints defensive line? And what were, what were some of the things that might have drawn you to playing with that unit? You know, uh, Coach Nelson played a huge part in uh, me coming to New Orleans. You know, um, I spent four years with him, well, three years at NC State with him. And I just know what he can get out of me as a player and as a person. So I knew it would be a great fit going to New Orleans. And as far as the D-line, I know uh, – I think his name is uh, David Animata, uh, Shy Tuttle. Uh, I remember Shy, uh, he was coming out of North Carolina when I was at State, so I know he's a great player. And I know David Animata, he's a great player also. So just, you know, being in that D-line room, along with Coach Nielsen, I know that all of our potential can get exceeded. You know, I think it's going to be uh, great to come in and work with them, and I know we're going to be able to push each other each day. Ed Daniels, WGNO TV. Say that again? Yes, sir. Uh, hi. Do, do you find it kind of almost ironic and crazy that you're playing for this franchise now after, you know, what happened in that game? Uh, not so much. You know, uh, I know this is this is a very violent sport and it's, it's very unfortunate what happened to Drew in that game, you know. Um, and uh, I, I just I, I don't really feel any irony. You know, I just it's just part of the sport, you know, and unfortunate things happen. Amy, just the advocate. Yeah, those two were like the first questions that I wanted to ask. Um, you know, not to bring up old stuff, but how did you feel in that moment, you know, when that happened to Drew? You know, honestly, I I, <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about Drew in the moment. You know, I, I know he, he suffered some unfortunate injuries in that moment, but I was just excited because it was my first sack as an NFL player. So I was extremely excited you know um it was a it was like jumping over a hurdle for me so i was i was very emotional at that moment very sweet now i guess yeah <laughs> mike triplet espn.com hey katavis welcome um how do you describe your, your career do you feel like there's still a lot of untapped potential especially uh you know since, since the injury delayed your start a little bit no doubt. You know, I, I find out new things about myself as a as a man and as a player each year. And I know it's just looking on my film from last year is so many things I can improve on. There's so many stats, so many plays uh, that I could have made last year. And I know I'll only get better because, you know, Coach Nielsen is a perfectionist. So I know those little things that I left on on the playing field last year won't get left this year. And I'll only get better. Ed Daniels, WGNO TV. Did you um, – how did you regard the Saints when you were playing against them as, as a rival? And was there anything that you picked up from the body language of the organization that said, you know what, I, I kind of want to be a part of this? You know, to be honest, it was Coach Nielsen. Um, whenever we played the Saints, I kind of marked that, that calendar date because I just wanted to show off for my guy. You know, he played a, a huge part in me getting to the league. You know, um, so many nuances about how I just carry myself on the day-to-day -day when I'm in the facilities for my whatever team it, it would be at that moment. That's, it just came from Coach Nielsen. So whenever I had a chance to play in front of him, I, make sure, I wanted to make sure that I put my best foot forward. Jeff Nowak, WWL Radio. Hi, Contavious. How you doing today? I'm great. How you doing? Good, good. Uh, I'm curious, you know, if you had any conversations with the, you know, the Saints defensive staff on how, you know, they intend to use you in the in the scheme. You seem like the type of rusher that can go inside and go outside. You know, is, has there been any indication there one way or the other? 
Uh, not yet. You know, so far, we, I've just been, you know, getting acquainted with everyone. You know, I, I just got my iPad, so I'm going through a few things there. But uh, right now, uh, they told me just not to really focus on football things. You know, we'll attack that once we get into OTAs. Uh, the biggest thing right now is just me getting moved out of the Bay Area and getting down there as soon as possible. Well, I guess I'll ask it this way. You know, what if in your kind of view of your game, do you see yourself as someone who, you know, exceeds uh, rushing on the interior, rushing on the edges? You know, what's kind of where you view your game at this point? You know, um, I, I feel comfortable rushing anywhere. You know, whatever I can, wherever I can find a disadvantage in the offensive line, I feel comfortable rushing because uh, my first year in the league, I was a defensive end. The, this last year, I've been a defensive tackler. And even in college, I was a three technique and I played five, uh, the five technique edge. So I, I feel comfortable wherever, wherever they can put me and I feel I can be effective and be the uh, best use for this team. I feel like I can rush there. Luke Johnson, the advocate. Hey, Contavious, welcome. Um, what's really stood out about this uh, the Saints defense to you in, in these last couple of years? Um, and, and what does having Dennis Allen here as the head coach mean for you? I think the physicality, you know, um, always how you guys pursue the ball, how you finish plays, the physical tackling from the linebackers, uh, the competitiveness of the uh, defensive uh, backs in the secondary, you know, that's, that's just always something that stuck out. And the attitude, it's, it's just a certain swagger about New Orleans. And I know – Coach Adams is only going to add on to that. So it's it's going to be dope what we got, what we put out on film this year. And um, I, I know you've talked a lot about Ryan Nielsen, but it, did, did he recruit you at NC State? Um, or, or did he get there after you got there? How, how did that relationship kind of start and how has it evolved over the years? Yeah, so he had been at NC State for, I believe, one year before he started recruiting me. So, yeah, he, he did recruit me. Yeah. So we go way back. Like This is like a nine, ten-year relationship. Do we have anything else for Contavious? Yeah, I have a follow up. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a follow up on that. Um, just how cool is that to know that you're going to be coached by a guy who's known you since, you know, for over a decade now, or just under a decade anyway? It's dope. It's it's uh it's kind of surreal, you know, because uh when when he did he left my uh, senior year state right before my senior year started. And, you know, um, him coming to the pros, it was kind of bittersweet in that moment. But I knew it could always come full circle. And for it to, like, fully complete that circle now, it's, it's kind of crazy, you know. Um, I'm kind of just uh, taking it slow, you know, because it's, you know, it's, it's amazing blessing to be at the pro level and to play this for as long as I have. Because the average NFL career is only three to four years. So to have made it this far and then go and get coached by my guy, you know, it's, it's amazing. So I'm just trying to live in the moment. And uh, once it's time to work, it's time to work. And I, I really want to make the best out of this opportunity. Luke Johnson. Hey, Contavious, I, I think one of the things a lot of people have seen with Ryan is uh, the way he develops players on the defensive line. Why do you think uh, a lot of guys, yourself included, have had some of their uh, their best years with him as their, their head coach or their position coach? Because he's so meticulous with how he studies the game. And not only does he study the game well, he studies his players well. He knows what makes them tick. And he knows how to put each player in the best position to be productive. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of D-line coaches can say that they, they study the game, they know the game inside and out. But I know for a fact from just witnessing it, how he attacks the game and how much he studies it. Like, it's, it's almost a, like it's in his blood, you know, like he just – he eats, sleeps, and breathes it. Like, a lot of guys say they do that, but he really does do it. And you can tell by the, the product that he's put out there. Anything else for Contavious? No, thank you, man. That was great. No problem at all. We're excited yeah. to have you here, man. Thanks for your time. Thank you so thank much, y'all. Have a great day. Thank you. Recording stopped.